Hey, what's up you guys? Sharkness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the 20 year anniversary Marvel Legends Captain America. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. Assert your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And once again, we have this really awesome tribute to Toy Biz. I remember Captain America way back in the day seeing it on the shelf over at GameStop. And yeah, uh, I later on picked up that figure but missed it that time also along with the Iron Man. But anyway, uh, here's a picture of the Series 1 Captain America from the Toy Biz days. I don't have an extra one of those mint on card, so I'm just showing off the picture right over there. And I really like the packaging that they have with this figure and you can see a read up over here on the back if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now not much more on the top or the bottom so let's get to it and slice this thing open and i am noticing right from the beginning over here i do have a little misfire with the paint applications on the face oh i'm already kind of bummed out so anyway let's get to it and slice this thing open i'm gonna go this way right here and that way right there and here, net that out. All right, looks pretty sweet. All right, let's get this figure back on the rotating base. <laughs> and here's Captain America back on the rotating base, looking pretty awesome. I have him posed like this on my Avengers shelf. Well, I mean the 80 years version is like this on my Avengers shelf right now. And I had to see how he'd look like this and it looks pretty awesome. I am seeing those holes in the shield, but we get some awesome accessories that go with it. So let's get a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. Figure. Get the two head sculpts and we get all these accessories right over here. Uh, you can see that once again they've given us this 20 year anniversary commemorative backdrop right there. Uh, kind of looking like the series one base which I have a piece of. Uh, it's supposed to have you know a tank piece and an American flag but I'm missing that right over there. You can see where it snapped off on me. But yeah I like that they've done this and then on the back side of the card you can see the origin of Captain America uh, number 109 and then once again we get the same uh, base with the Marvel Legends Toy Biz logo with the two pegs sticking up over there. We have a brand new shield, which I'm really happy about. This is a much larger shield than the 80 years cap shield, which was just way too small. And then here is an MCU Captain America shield, so you can see they're the same size. Of course, we have these three holes right here, which can be a nuisance, but I think it's worth the payoff for getting all these cool effects that you could plug into it. You want to play match the shape. You can see the shapes are just slightly different from each other. Uh, we have this electric effect right over here I like using this having Thor's hammer slam against the shield I thought that was kind of neat or having red skull uh, fire at Captain America I thought that was pretty cool you also have the option of adding this slash effect which I really dig a lot especially with this white paint over here you use this with him fighting Wolverine or Ursa Major I had a really good time with this one I also kind of plug this into the bottom of his feet a little bit if you want it you know for some kicking action or something I tried messing with it like that and then you get these three bullet ricochet effects that all all have a little bit of white paint in the middle of them and again you need to play match the shape to port them on see how that looks right there with all the bullets going in the same direction very very cool and on top of that it looks like they've used firmer plastic right over here for this peg hinge system so I think that's really neat as well I didn't show off the straps that he comes with also so you could put this on the figure uh, you could have him with it all the time or not I don't know I see these as faux shield straps so the only time I put this on the figure is if I have the shield plugged into his back at the same time of having these but I think they look really good you can see the stitching right there nice touches of silver so yeah really happy to see that for the cowl down option you can see we have this piece right here which I don't know it doesn't always contour against the figure as much as I'd like to but still I'm very happy that they included this and then as far as the hands go I'm very happy to see that we get some nice paint shading in here you can see a little bit of a dark red wash over the red plastic and it's like that on all the hands you get an even set of fisted hands and wide open hands and then you get a left pointing finger right here and a right slapping hand or a right saluting hand right over here and all of these hands have the vertical hinge no horizontal hinges here <laughs> So I'm really liking this Steve Rogers head sculpt. I like the wafty hair. I think they're doing a pretty good job with this design over here. It fits in with the Doctor Strange and the Tony Stark figures that we'd recently gotten. So I do like it. I like how the paint looks right over there. Looks really clean. I do 
dig this head sculpt. It came out better than the masked head sculpt. Again, uh, this right here can get a little wobbly on you. You know, you could pose him up and he'll spin around. It is what it is, man. If you want to use sticky tack to help with that, then you can. And looking at this new masked head sculpt, oh man, this misfire right here really bugs the hell out of me. Uh, now, I posted this on Instagram, and a lot of people commented on the mouth and the eyes looking weird. It's really only when you zoom in really, really tight that those dots really stand out, because for the most part, I think the photo reel approach for the comic figures is pretty badass. I do like that. Nice glossy white paint right over there for the A. That looks really clean, but yeah, this did not come out clean. Oh, man. Uh. And the rest of the figure looks really good. Um, a little bit of paint splotching over here on the star, but it's all white, so I'm, you know, happy with that instead of it being a mix of colors. Uh, but I do love that they've added some lighter blue shading throughout on the chain mail, as you can see definitely on the shoulder right over there. So I think that looks really cool. We're mostly seeing uh, the 80 years cap figure just repainted to the lighter blue that most of us wanted to see it in the first place. Uh, you could see some darker red mixed in. I did paint all the red portions on this figure so you do see multiple tones right there and I really like that a lot wish we could have seen a little bit of that with the blue right here on the legs because it feels a little flat and then we do get pins showing but I expected that with this figure knowing that it was going to be an 80 years repaint but you can see we get more old school toy biz kind of style paint right over there on the boots not exactly toy biz you know what I mean I feel like they did a little bit more brushing than wash you know and this is definitely a wash so it doesn't look bad though and then there's peg holes at the bottom of the feet and here's a look at the back of the figure again in case I missed this because there's a star right there with the back port so I'm going to skip the articulation segment and I'm going to post a card over there in case you didn't see the 80 years cap review or you don't know how the articulation works on this piece but yeah cap is standing just a little over six and a half inches tall now for a Captain America comparison you could see our new Hasbro Captain America compared to the top two toy biz Captain Americas, I think, anyway. Or maybe the ultimate cap in this one, but it's very similar. But anyway, there's the Series 1 Captain America, and then there's our face-off two-pack Captain America. And these each have these elastic bands on the shields, along with the clip, which haven't broken on any of these. But yeah, uh, the fact that you could put this on the wrist and over the shoulders, I thought, you know, is kind of where Hasbro was going with these straps right over here being just for when you have his shields stored on his back. I'm having a hard time talking talking today you guys I have a really bad migraine thanks for bearing with me and for another Captain America comparison you can see we have our vintage collection Captain America and then here is our 80 years Captain America which is basically a repaint from this one I mean the only issue I really had with this figure right here was that I wish it was a lighter blue color and Hasbro delivered and gave us extra paint apps and all the accessories over here I mean yeah th this is an astounding piece and here's a new Captain America figure next to the apocalypse build the figure waves Wolverine and yeah it was really fun posing these two fighting each other this is definitely an essential figure. I think I'm going to make a video talking about the top 10 Hasbro essential figures for Marvel Legends. I don't know. What do you think? I think it'd be a pretty fun video. Then here's Captain America next to a couple other Avengers. We have the 20 years Iron Man right over there. And then here's our 80 years Thor. Another essential figure. Like if you're collecting Marvel Legends and you don't have this Thor figure in your collection. Oh, what the hell are you doing, man? Come on, get that Thor. Then here's Captain America figure next to some Captain America villains. We have Crossbones and Red Skull. And then here's Captain America next to a couple of Russian baddies. We have Red Guardian and and Ursa Major. And then here's Captain America next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Whoa, nice shield. It's got some holes in it, but still really cool. Almost like my cool shield I used to have, but this bullet came by and just took it from me. Didn't even belong to him. He just took it. I'm just gonna stand there and let that happen. I mean, not gonna do anything. Ah! So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people that support this channel via Patreon and membership. If you're in a position to do so and you want perks, check it out. Link in the description below. And this figure is quite amazing. I fell into the action figure abyss. Yeah, I got a shoddy copy with the bad paint apps on the face. I am bummed out about that, and I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do about it. I think I'm just going to have to deal with it, or I don't know, maybe I find another one and I might pick up a second. I don't know. I really like the figure a lot, so it might be worth having two for me. It may not. I don't know. We'll see. It's an expensive figure as it is, which is extremely frustrating because I never planned on getting more than one of these. So 
I should probably try to see if I could get an exchange or something. I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. But anyway, the figure itself is quite amazing, and I love the accessories and everything. I took, I think, around 120 photos of this figure, not including any stop-motion images. I'm just saying, like, photos of the figure, you know, and figure fighting other characters and stuff like that. But anyway, at the price point, around 35 to 40 bucks, man. These things are expensive, but you get a lot with this thing. I'm giving this a sud rating of... <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to know what you guys think. For me, this is already one of my favorite figures of the year. Like, this is definitely going to be in the top 10 for sure. I absolutely love this thing. I haven't gotten this lost into an action figure abyss all year, honestly. Maybe with the Red Rage Toxie? Possibly? I think I'm alone on that figure still. But anyway, I want to know what you guys think of this figure right here. Let me know. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news and a photo gallery of images, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Who's Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.